You are going to be so excited about what we have to unbox today. It is an adult advent calendar. Kinda sorta an adult advent calendar. If you've been here for a while, then you already know what Freaky Friday is. But if you haven't, hi. I used to do adult unboxings on Fridays. So it was called Freaky Friday. And think like boxes that have things like lingerie, nipple pasties, dildos, all of that kind of stuff. And it was a ton of fun. Um, YouTube doesn't love it. So I might have to censor a couple words. And I know it's not actually Friday, but we could call this like Tantalizing Tuesday or Temptation Tuesday if you want. So what I have for you today is essentially an adult themed advent calendar. I saw a couple sneak peeks of the creatives of what's coming out at Christmas time and it was packaged as so. This one actually only has 11 items. So when it comes out at Christmas and I'm only surmising so that is not fact, I believe there's going to be a 12th item in it and there is an actual order in which we're supposed to be unboxing this. So that kind of adds to the fun because there's like day one, day two, day three. Oh, some details about the box. It's $205. It's called the most iconic box. And uh, like I said, it contains 11 items and the value is closer to $300. And of course you could save even more money by using our link and code that I'll have in the description box and the pinned comment down below. So let's start out with day one. So the creative for this says, if you're reading this, you've decided to accept the challenge. So are you ready to awaken your power of seduction? Don't count accessories, count experiences. Since it's $205 though, I am I would definitely be counting the money on it because you wanna make sure that you get a good value when you're buying something that's bundled up, especially if it's a surprise. This one's not necessarily a surprise. And even on the website right now, you can look and see everything that's in it. This is what the inside of the box looks like. It's double stacked in some spots. Like there's things underneath other things here and over here and it looks like we get a decent amount out of um, a bunch of their collections, which if you've seen any of their wearable things like harnesses and chains, it is, they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm pretty excited that we actually get to touch some of that collection today. What is day one? Day one is called Maze. Day one, we have something from the Maze collection, which is their more like, um, it's all faux vegan PETA approved leather, uh, but it is their harness collection. It's called a Maze tassel choker, and it looks like this is actually a whip. This is a nice, freaking box. I might keep everything in their boxes. This is wrapped so nicely too. Doesn't it feel like an advent calendar? I really hope that they actually end up doing that. Um, I don't know if they will though because they released this box so much sooner. Oh my god it looks so pretty. But here's the choker part. Very soft. Again vegan. It's that this is like PETA friendly not real leather kind of situation. Two buttons for closure. They are not the easiest. Oh my god, I love it. I think I want to wear this to the Ash Nico concert. This is fucking awesome. This is so pretty and it's such a high quality in comparison to any of the other ones. I've done so many um, unboxings. One thing that you can count on when you get an adult box is that 90% of the stuff that comes in it is probably going to be hella hella cheap and there's not very many brands that actually want to do a good job. It's like they think everybody who has sex just wants to spend the least amount of money possible on it. That's so pretty. It's basically bondage that you could wear in public. I mean, it does kind of look a little bit like bondage. What you can do with this thing is, it is a whip. It's also a leash, so you can turn it around and give it to somebody. So smart, and it's also just pretty. I bet you there's other pieces in this box that go with that choker because there is an entire collection on the website for it. Day two are these flash nipple pasties. They are reusable black glitter pasties. I'm not sure that if they actually have an entire collection based on this. This isn't something that I've like been stalking their website for. Okay, so so far we have a pricier item and then like a cheaper accessory type item. Day number three is from the Magnifique collection, which is like their, um, it's chains, but it's like the dainty chains. It's called the back and cleavage chain. This is another thing that I've been coveting that I've just been stalking on their website. Oh, it's gold. I think I was expecting it to be silver because the photo's in black and white. That's why I thought. I'm going to get this all tangled the freak up, aren't I? <laughs> I already tangled it. What is happening in the middle? Okay, no, I think I figured it out now. The The thing says that it's a back and cleavage chain, um, but it doesn't have uh, any photos of it as a cleavage chain. So maybe we can figure that out ourselves. Um, the important thing would be to get it clasped and then we'll try to work it out. I'm not wearing the right dress. I got cold so I put pants on underneath this dress, but um, I think it would look a lot better if it was a lot lower cut. That is cute. What does it look like in the back? 
swing it around. Oh, I get it. The chain is that long. So from the front, you don't have like all of the chain material. You got to kind of like hide it maybe, or you just cut it. Like, you know, you want it on that tightest one and then just remove the rest, the excess of the chain. This is what we're working on from behind. It's real cute. Actually doesn't look like it would get tangled as easily as I was assuming, but for safekeeping, I'm just gonna snap it right back onto its little plastic cart here. On to day four, we have the Christine vinyl mask. So it's like we went a bigger item, a smaller accessory, a bigger item, and now another smaller accessory. That's what it looks like on. It's very cagey. It says reusable vinyl mask with skin friendly dots. These are the skin friendly dots. So it actually like attaches to your face. Okay, hold on. You stick it on, stick it on another spot. Oh no, I have a full face of makeup on and I have very oily skin. So let's see if this actually holds. Wow, it, it does actually stick to your face. If you have a full face of makeup on, I don't think it's gonna stick for very long unless you have like, you could probably actually glue this to your face with some cosmetic glue, like eyelash glue even. They give you some more of the uh, the stickers. It looks like you would want to replace those because they already have all of my makeup on them. On to day five, it's something from the Maze collection, which is that first day. Day one, the, uh, the choker tassel that we got. So this is gonna match it. This is called the Maze suspender belt and it's made to go around your waist and then it has a clip for the front, right? I love it! It came with a secondary strap so that you can make it ultra adjustable, fit any size. So there we go, it even has this little gold um, bar here to keep this down. That looks nice. Um, it clips onto anything. It doesn't have to have a hole in it, so you can just clip it onto, you know. Whatever it is that you have on. I do wish it went a, like a little bit snugger for me. For size reference, I'm really small. I look bigger, I think, on the internet than I am in real life. I'm five foot five, 110 pounds. I typically wear like an extra small or a size zero or two, which I understand I'm on the very smallest end of the spectrum when it comes to like the size of adults. So this should fit basically everyone. <laughs> there were some other things that came in this box. What was this? I knocked this out of the way. They have a special discount whenever you place an order you get this card in there and you get 20% off of their store they also have a list of all of their other boxes and collections in here um what is this this says horoscope self-care based on like your zodiac sign there's a little QR code. If you feel like scanning it and figuring out what the heck that is, you go for it. And there's sample packets. There's the revitalizing massage drop and then there's the finger play gel, which is probably one of the best things that they have. On to day six, officially halfway through the box, we have the shh blindfold. It's not a face mask. It's a blindfold and you can use it for whatever you want. If you want to use it as handcuffs or if you want to put it around your face, the site says shh. The other side says, oh, when you flip it over, it says, ooh, and they say that it's a blindfold and restraints. This is long enough to be like literally bondage. We have so far followed the pattern of like bigger item, smaller item, bigger item, smaller item, bigger, smaller. This time we're on number seven. It should be a bigger item. It says it's from the Magnifique collection, which there's only one of those left in here. This is called the necklace whip. So it's very similar to what we got on day one, which was a bondage choker. This necklace whip is something that I could probably wear on a regular day. It is all the way made of metal. Like that might actually hurt. Um, There's no clasp, you just put it on. It's just, there you go. It's a necklace. It's kind of a little long on me. I think that we're going to adjust it a little higher because I swear the girl in the picture she has it, yes. Yeah, see, it kind of lands at like more chest height. I can definitely find a way to adjust this. Day eight feels like there's almost nothing in here. It's incredibly lightweight. It's called the Lily and it is a whip, but this one isn't, doesn't look like it's gonna hurt at all. This is very soft. It has a bow. It also has a stick and a handle. It's part of the accessories of passion. I don't think it's an actual collection, but if you go onto their website, they have, uh, they have a whole bunch of stuff. They have like five or six different boxes. I've actually unboxed a couple of them already, like the slow sex box. I think there was another one 
one called the Sexperience box. I will link those up in the cards or down below for you. They are so freaking cool and they still have them available on their website. It's not like it's a monthly subscription. It's just like a one-time purchase box and you get a bunch of stuff for a lot cheaper. You get to try a whole bunch of stuff, but they do also sell like all of their stuff on their website and they have everything that you would imagine an adult store would have, but it's like bring it to the next level because it's a lot classier. It's a lot nicer of a brand than like going to a generic adult store, which is always really cheap. And it just, it has that smell, that silicone smell. <laughs> day number nine is a really fun one. Day number 10 goes with day number nine. So I'm excited to unbox that one as well. This is called Desire Metallique. And these are the metallic mesh handcuffs. So you can take that chain off if you'd like on either side and just wear them as bracelets. Oh, they're even kind of cold when you first put them on, um, which is a good sen sensory kind of thing with the other chains maybe as well if you're wearing less clothes than I am, but that's really pretty. I can't hook them myself, that's asking too much, but they have these gold bars in the bottom and they're so metallic and shiny and I guess you could just use, oh no, it has an extender. So if you need to extend the, uh, the length of the handcuffs themselves, cause they are kind of small. And then day number 10 is part of the same collection, the Desire Metallique collection. Hold up, that is way prettier than I thought that this was going to be. This is called a collar. It has what is essentially two of the uh, the handcuff bracelets clipped together in the middle, but then they come together in this gold circle and <laughs> there are so many straps on this. Okay, hold up. Okay, so we have the necklace and then there's a ring and then there are three chains that hang off. These two chains, I'm going to assume, just go to your handcuffs, but what does the third chain go to? There's got to be another thing as part of this collection. This is really cute too. This isn't really a piece that you could really wear out though. So you know where that puts us? Day 11, the very last item in the box. It should be the best item of the entire box because everything leading up to this moment, this is the moment, right? On day 11, we have something in gold, which is already very promising. It's called 21. It has a picture of a diamond. It says it's waterproof, rechargeable, body safe. So we have ourselves a toy in here then. So this is called 21. Wow, that was really special. <laughs> that was the fanciest little toy unboxing I've ever had. So it says the perfect pleasure. It's called 21. It is a vibrating diamond that is waterproof, rechargeable, body safe, has three vibration levels, seven vibration modes. I guess that's why they call it 21. It's contoured to fit in the palm of your hand. You're supposed to use the flat side then for your widest parts of your bits. This is when I have to censor words for you too. It says the edge side right here is really good for between the folds or applying more pressure and then the pinpoint bottom down here for some very precision pressure on a specific point. You know what I mean? It does a whole heck of a lot for being as small and discreet as it is. I've never really considered anything um, shaped like a diamond. It's fully waterproof. So you could take it right into the bathtub with you. It's rechargeable. How is it rechargeable? Oh. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that at all. Taking that top off did nothing. There's no secret charger down there. I don't know why that even just came off. In the bottom, it came with a pouch. It did come with its charging cord. <laughs> this is gonna give us a clue. Oh, no way. We did it right. We did it right the first time. I was expecting it to be like a micro USB or a USB-C, but it's just like a radio jack that fits into that hole. Wow. I would never have figured that out. Okay, so this is a really good box, right? It ended so well. I feel like we had a good mix of larger items and smaller items. We did actually end up with more larger items because we were doing, it was like kind of a pattern of large, small, large, small. Then when we got to the end, it was just like large, large, large all in a row. It kind of also looks like we got approximately two things out of each of the collections. So if you've been on their site and you've been coveting any of the collections, this might be a really good way to get some of the pieces at a discount because they generally don't get discounted on the site so much. We do have our link. We do have our coupon code. Thank you so much Bijou and Discrets for sending this my way. Let me know what you guys all thought about it down below. Um, if you are not here for the Freaky Friday content, that's okay. That's not generally what I do. Please still consider hitting subscribe before you leave. If you are here for this, it's not generally what I do. <laughs> However, I like to pepper them in every once so we probably do like four or five of them in a year. So maybe hit subscribe and just hang out for a while regardless. I don't post a whole heck of a lot on this channel since I'm so focused on cannabis, but I promise not to annoy you with too many notifications. Huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible. Thank you all so much for being here. Other than that, here's a couple of videos that you should probably watch next. <laughs> Love you all. See you next time. Bye.